What's up guys, Justin here with DCGessentials.com. So just a quick reminder video that the Blender Market Summer Sale is currently live. It's gonna have thousands of different Blender add-ons and assets and other tools on sale for 25% off. So if you've had an eye on something, you've seen something you're interested in, this could be a good week to check this out. All right, so you can check out the Summer Sale by visiting thecgessentials.com slash summer sale. Note that for the first few hours, this sale on um, Blender Market can kind of be a little bit slow because of the traffic that it gets. So if you can't get through for whatever reason, you may just want to check it out a little bit later today. This does go through the end of the week. Um, it actually goes through Sunday, August 27th at the end of the day. So um, you do have a little bit of time if you can't get it to load for whatever reason. And so there's a ton of different assets on sale. I'm going to try to cover some of them in videos this week. So feel free to leave a comment below and let me know if there's something you're interested in that you'd like to learn about. And so I did want to highlight some of my favorites, some of the ones that I've been using right now. You can also go to the view all popular items on the front page in order to see a list of products. Note the ones that are on sale have a little on sale tag on the upper right hand corner. But you can see how some of the great add-ons um, that a lot of people use inside of Blender are currently on sale, right? So hard ops and box cutter I always highlight just because it's a great tool set for um, doing hard surface modeling as well as doing different cuts and other things like that. So um, it's a huge tool set for hard surface modeling. Honestly, I probably ought to do more with hard ops on the channel. That may be something that I do in the future. So we've also got Botanic. So Botanic, so Botanic is a tree and grass library add-on, and it's got a huge collection of different assets, and they're continuing to add to this, by the way. So this is a video from their new 6.8 version, which I may highlight a little bit later this week. Um, but they've got all sorts of different grasses and trees and shrubs. Um, it's a pretty complete library of different trees. Plus it gives you the ability to do things like adjusting the colors of the trees. So um, there's a documentation section that'll teach you how to use it. But then if you look down below, you've got options for the different versions, right? So you can do the starter version if you just want to get started, uh, try some of the assets, you can get that for $2. Um, then you've got the light version and the full version. The light version has just under half of the assets and the different scatters. And the full version obviously has a over 700 different assets and different scattering options. And so there's a ton of cool features in here like the ability to customize the different colors of the leaves and the branches, as well as the ability to add animation. So if you want these to like move and animate as if they're in the wind, you can do that. As well as it has biomes. If you have geo scatter and you wanna scatter the assets, it's got the tool set in there to do that. And if you scroll down on the sales page, you can see a list of all the different assets that are in here. You've got different coniferous trees, you've got different deciduous trees, all sorts of different plants and shrubs. Um, it's a pretty deep library of different things. So you can find out more information on this page. I'll link to all of these add-ons in the notes below this video as well. All right, so next up is an add-on we talked about, I think last week, which is the new population add-on from B Production. This is a crowd simulation add-on. Um, again, this also has multiple different versions. It's got a free version, a light version, and then a 100% version. And basically what this is, is this is a tool designed for the creation and simulation of crowds. They've got photo scan characters built in with a bunch of different movements. And you can use this to add different kinds of crowds. So as we scroll down here, it's got options for like classic mode, which is just going to put clouds like in a big area like this. You can animate people along a curve. You can create different clusters of people, grid of people and then the stadium mode is interesting because it actually allows you to set people standing and sitting inside of a stadium if you're looking for a tool that's going to allow you to kind of simulate crowds and groups of people you can check out population all right so geosign is a tool we talked about last week and it's basically a tool designed to help you quickly create and generate different signs inside a blender so um, you can use this to kind of randomly create signs with different text you can use it to animate animate um, the lights on your signage. Um, so you can make it look like flashing neon signage or something like that, as well as giving you the ability to take your images and videos and create them as signs in your scenes as well. And so this tool does allow you to use your custom text on a sign, as well as giving you the ability to draw curves and have those curves actually be a part of the sign as well. And so you can check this one out specifically by going to the cgessentials.com slash geo sign. 
All right, so Alt-Tab Easy Fog, we've talked about on the channel before, this is a tool for creating volumetric fog inside of your scenes. It basically comes with a bunch of different fog presets um, that are also kind of editable and you can use this in order to generate and add fog in your different scenes if you want to make things look foggy. It's really great for adding like um, it's really great for adding like an environmental feel to your renderings. So this one is pretty inexpensive. It has a free demo version and then you've also got the personal license and the commercial license. So I will link to that one in the notes down below. All right, so another tool I always like to highlight is physical starlight and atmosphere. So this is a tool that's specifically designed to help you generate atmospheres and um, actual like physical lighting inside of Blender. Instead of using HDRI images, what this one does is it allows you to actually generate like artificial suns and other things like that. And it, it, um, it can create those in the background and you can actually adjust them. So you can see how you can get a lot of different effects in here. And the cool thing about this is these are adjustable, which gives you the ability to adjust everything from the height of the sun in the sky to the scattering of the light in the atmosphere. Um, it's a really cool tool for that. One of the things I really like about this one is it does work both across EV and cycles, which makes setting up your lighting really easy. You don't have to wait for a bunch of stuff to render or anything like that. You can just kind of set it up in EV and then switch it directly over into cycles, which really makes setup to be a lot faster and easier. All right, so Sanctus Library is a procedural materials library. One of the cool things about this one is there is a light version of this one that you can download and give it a try. Um, but basically this is a library of procedural materials. And because they're procedural, what that means is that means that you can actually adjust and edit the materials inside of Blender. So you don't have to go find, uh, you don't have to go find PBR maps or anything like that because these are all built as procedural materials inside of Blender. And so um, this is just a really big collection of those different materials. He's got all sorts of cool stuff in here, like decals and you can add damage to them. Um, he's just got a ton of stuff built into this one and he's consistently updating and adding to this. So um, I, I don't know if it's monthly, but I can tell you that he is um, really often adding to this library, which is why I think he said it has, so it says here he has over 400 procedural materials. He also just sent out an email with his new update that says that it has over 950 procedural assets. So that that's in addition to just like materials. It's also going to have your decals. That's going to be everything that's in here, but it is a really large collection of procedural things that are adjustable inside of Blender. All right, and then I always try to highlight at least Perspective Plotter from Mark Kingsnorth. This is a tool that um, basically brings the FSpy functionality directly into Blender. So what that means is that means that you can do photo matching and texture matching directly inside of Blender. Um, this is adjustable, meaning you can use this in order to align all of your perspectives and everything to any images that you bring in here, allowing you to actually model from images. So we've got Perspective Plotter and then the other tool from Mark is his updated version of Conform Object. And so his updated version of Conform Object is uh, pretty amazing in my opinion. So Conform Object is basically a tool that allows you to take objects and bend them along other objects. So kind of similar to what you can do with decals, but this helps you set it up for actually like um, using geometry with this. Well, his new version gives you the ability, because it used to be a little bit clunky, right? It kind of like was what it was, and um, you could kind of mess around with the settings, but it, it wasn't always ideal. Well, this new version, what he's done is he's added the ability to use this grid in order to stretch and adjust things before they get bent onto the object, giving you the ability to actually really kind of bend things along an object in a very easy way. So like sculpting and other things like that are definitely not my strong suit, but this new version I found really easy to use with the lattice. Um, it's really great for bending things along other things in Blender. So that's just a couple of the hundreds of add-ons that are gonna be on sale as a part of the Blender Market Summer Sale this week. So I will link to that in the notes down below, or you can check it out by visiting the cgessentials.com slash summer sale and um, see if that add-on that you've had your eye on might be on sale this week. 
All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this video. I'm gonna be doing some tutorials this week on different add-ons from the Blender Market. So if there's something you'd like to see, leave a comment below and let me know. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.